Hello, this is CCSG Corp, and today we will be doing a quick demonstration on how to connect to and utilize the Multi-Sites Management Application CMS for our standalone DVRs HA-442B, 842B, and 1648. First, you will need to download the program to your computer. You'll be able to find the application on your CD or on the support page of our website. If you're having trouble finding the application, or you do not know which file it is, please feel free to contact us and we'll be happy to answer any questions. The multi-site application comes in the standard 36 channel view. There is also a non-standard 144 view provided. If you require more than 36, please contact us for more information. Locate and install the application. You will have two programs. One is called CMS Live View and the other is called CMS Record Server. You will need to create a list of the sites you would like to utilize first with the Record Server program before doing the Live View. First, we will be demonstrating how to manage multiple sites in a single group. Open Record Server and click OK. Here, you'll be able to add the sites you'd like and group them together. To the left, right-click and choose Add New Group. Name the group however you'd like. We'll be naming it Demo for this video. Now, right-click on the group you just made and click on Add Camera. Because the CMS supports many different types of products, make sure to choose the correct type for whichever site you'd like to connect to. We'll be connecting to our 442B DVR, so we'll choose the 4-channel, 8-channel B option. Under Address, enter in the IP of the DVR, or you can enter in the DDNS. We'll be using our demo DDNS, but make sure to use your own. Under Port, the default numbers are 9000 and 8000, but if you've modified your port numbers, make sure to use your own. Under Name, enter in whatever name you'd like to use for your site. Enter in your username and password if you've set up access controls. Otherwise, you can delete it or keep it as is. Finally, under Group, choose the name of the group that you just made. Here is an example of all the information we've just added for this demonstration. You can click on the Connect Test button to test to see if the connection is working properly. Here you can see that everything has been connected properly. If you do not see a connection, make sure to edit your information. If everything is working right, go ahead and click OK. The program will automatically detect all the channels that have been connected to the DVR. You can also add on another site to the group. We'll be adding on to our demo group with another site. For this site, we'll be using our 842B DVR. Repeat the steps from before. Under IP, we'll be using our free DDNS server. Now we have two different sites connected to our group. Once you've connected however many sites you'd like, we can now use the Live View application. Multi-Window also functions as an off-site redundant recording program. For example, in the case that one of your sites fails while it is connected to the program, Multi-Window will work independently from the DVR or camera to store playback information that the site might have lost. Open the CMS Live View program. You will get this window. Under the IP field, the program is asking for the IP the computer is under. It is not asking for any of your site IPs, so make sure not to get confused. The default port number is 10001, but if you've modified it, make sure to use your own. Under the login fields, once again, enter in the username and password if you've set up access controls. If you haven't, you can keep it as is. Click OK. If everything has been set up properly under the Record Server program, the application should be able to connect. If you did not set it up properly, it will not connect. At first, the program will allow a max of 16 channels viewed at once. If you want to view more channels, go under System Settings and change the max. We'll change it to 36. Click on OK. This will let you view 36 channels at one time if you need it. 
To connect to the site group we created before, locate the group to the right, right click and click on Play Group. The CMS will now connect to all the sites we've set up earlier. If you'd like, you can also manage your sites from here. Click on the Save Current Live View Status button. You can pick and choose what you'd like to do with your groups here, such as view one site from one group and another site from a different group. You can also use Playback. Click on the Playback button and choose whichever sites you'd like to play back from. Make sure to click on the channel that you'd like to view the playback on. And that's how you manage multiple sites in a single group. Now we will be demonstrating how to manage multiple sites in multiple groups. Go back to your Record Server program. This time, instead of putting all your sites into one group, create another group. Name it whatever you'd like. This time we'll be naming it Demo2. Now add on your sites to your new group. Repeat the steps from adding on your sites as demonstrated earlier in the video. Here you can see we have two separate groups for our different sites. Now open your Live View program again. Locate the first group. Right click on it and click on Play Group. Now you will need to add on your other sites. Click on the next available channel. We will need to extend our channel views to do this. Now locate your second group. Right click and choose Add Play Group. This will add on the second group to your first group. Repeat however many times you'd like with your other groups. And that's it. Thank you for watching.